All right, guys, a uh, convincing and, and uh, I don't want to say important, but um, memorable win, I should say, uh, for a lot of us, especially for you, Kyle. It's been four years, and it's the first time you beat Pensacola here at our place. Um, so kind of coming into this game, you know, Marshall had the experience of playing PCC before, Rashawn not necessarily. Um, what, what, are you, what are you saying to these guys leading up to this week, knowing that, you know, this is a high emotional, high intensity game? Yeah, um, there's really... There's not much to say. Like uh, I think Sean learned it just through the intensity of the practice before. Um, he'd heard that, and there was a buzz around campus today. Uh, I mean, I had 50 people tell me they were coming to the game. Um, so I think I think everyone can kind of feel it that this is a big game. Uh, just the way we practiced this week, we went hard, and it was obviously there was something a little different about this game. That meant, I mean, all games are important, but. It, this was this was really important to me, and uh, I'm really proud of the guys. How, how important, you mentioned the crowd and, and the people that, that, that were there. Uh, as a player, how important is, you know, a not just a big crowd, but a crowd that's really in, involved yeah. in the game? How important is that? I mean, that's what you want to play in front of. Just when you're a little kid, you dream of hitting a three-pointer and the crowd going crazy. And that's just energy that we can feed off of. And... Like, it might seem kind of weird. I don't know if you're in the crowd, you might think it doesn't make a difference, but like, there is a very real difference. It gives us energy, and if that if we put the team behind us, they're gonna start crumbling a little bit when they hear that crowd. Uh, Sean, you were, you were carving up the, the, the defense tonight. Um, unofficially, officially a record uh, for the school, 14 assists on the night. Um, you know, what, what, what's going through your mind from a mental perspective against that defense? Well, I mean, with this team, everybody hit shots, and I was just trusting my guys a lot more today and not trying to, you know, force shots up and stuff. I, I had a meeting with Coach Wingreen before, and he showed me film where I got into the lane, and it was like the defense would collapse, uh, collapse on me and people would be open. So, I mean, watching film with him today and him telling me this kind of stuff, it just opened my eyes up. So when I got into the lane and everybody collapsed, I saw why well, I, I automatically knew people was open just from the film. So I knew guys were going to hit shots. Also, you guys did a great job of, you know, in some games we have the high assists, but we have relatively high turnovers too. So you guys did a great job of taking care of the ball today too. Um, so just talk about that, even in the preparation, you know, since earlier in the season, how you guys have been able to kind of change that mentality. Well, usually we're just, we're, we're so we're so into the game and trying to score and do things on our own that we just like, we're lackadaisical with the ball. But when we're playing together, we're, we're playing as a team, it's just like, we just, we just drive each other. It's, we just take care of the ball. We, make sure that we don't turn the ball over. And usually, you know, I'm kind of, sometimes I get lazy with the ball, but in a game like this, that when I know it's important to everybody else and moving forward after situations where we've lost games because of turnovers, I just feel like it's time to step up and take care of the ball. It was your first uh, whiteout rivalry game experience. What, what was it like? It was the best thing I've ever felt in my life. I mean, I never, <laughs> I never played in a gym that loud. He was enjoying the crowd. I was loving sure. the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> I was loving it. It was the best crowd I've ever like played in front of in my entire life. So it was great. Marshall, uh, you hit the, you hit a couple shots very early on. Uh, kind of what at what point, you know, either in warm ups or whatever, were you were you thinking you were getting that confidence as far as uh, as far as shooting? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm. I always feel confident just from extra work that I put in and also like my teammates, they always keep me confident. Like I shoot, I might shoot two or three times. Like I think at the beginning of this game, I missed like four shots and they kind of rimmed out. But then I had Sean or Dustin or Kyle, those guys telling me, hey, don't worry, the next shot's going in. So when they, when I have my teammates give me confidence, that makes me confident. I just keep shooting and uh, they just start falling. So Offensively, we had five guys in double figures. Um, and I think if we would have kept the pressure on a little bit more, we probably could have had more than that in double figures. Um, you know, th it's one of those things this year that uh, I don't want to say we did this in a lot in previous years, but it seemed like the offense in the last couple of years has gone through one or two guys. Whereas this year, it's it's super spread out. Where you know Marshall could go for thirty on the night, or, or Kyle could, or Sean could, or uh, anybody else. So even from a shooter's perspective, just talk about how that. Um, that helps you in your game, knowing that you don't necessarily have to take the whole offense on your shoulders. Yeah, there's definitely a, like no pressure. Um, you know, guys on our team are gonna hit shots, and everyone shares the ball. And like, I mean, Sean, 14 assists, like that's crazy. And he could have had a lot more. Well, I missed shots, people missed shots, but Come I on. mean, <laughs> like, 
it's just uh, it's just really fun to play with a group of guys this talented and knowing that we could all just have a great night any given night. Uh, kind of going from this, uh, what um, obviously the season isn't over. This was a, a big win tonight, but now we got to think about uh, Warren Wilson and uh, and a little bit. I feel like of a, a revenge game. I know there's a little bit of a chip on your shoulder from you guys for uh, kind of the meltdown that happened up in up in Asheville. So uh, maybe if each one of you want to talk about. Um, you know, the experience of that game and losing uh, after having such a big lead and uh, what you're going to do this time against them as they, they come to Arlington. All right, well, this g that game starts with me because I had 11 turnovers that game and we, I pretty much, like, single-handedly, like, chipped away and gave them the lead. So a game like that, like you said, you asked me about the beginning of the turnovers, a game like that is a game that makes me want to play hard after that to understand that I had 11 turnovers that game and we were winning that game. We could have won that game. We should have won that game. Mm -hmm. So just just a game like that, knowing that we should win, now we just got to come back hard the next game and beat them by double what we were up. Yeah, um, I I think I heard Coach Ring say at the end of this game, he uh, they they ended the Pensacola ended the game on about like a 14, 14 to something run, mm -hmm. and um, that's just something that like just because we won this game by a pretty good margin doesn't mean that we don't have stuff to work on and get better at, and so. Uh, I'm sure the coaches will have us prepared just like they did this week and uh, we'll be in great shape and we'll just be ready to um, go out and play our best against Warren Wilson. It's always fun playing those guys. I mean, Kyle last year had a big shot against them, so we always know that they're going to bring it and uh, it's going to be a fun game. Yeah, uh, a game against Warren Wilson, it's, it's always going to be a, a really good game. You know what to expect from them. They shoot the lights out and they and they pressure the ball. Um, we we kind of got embarrassed last time we played them. When, that was one of the worst losses I've ever had. And so I'm looking forward to getting back, working hard again, and uh, just putting that one behind us too.